Hey, what's up? Today we will check a brand new projector from Hitchin Company. You know, this is a budget projector under $200, but it has a native Full HD resolution, 9000 lumens brightness, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, up to 200 inches screen size. By the way, we have already tested many budget projectors with similar specifications. You can watch the videos on our channel Tech Brothers. In this video, we will talk about all the functions and features of the new Hitchin projector. Let's start with unboxing. By the way, another feature of this projector is a compact size. I will tell you the dimensions a little later, but now you can see that the box is really compact. There is the image of projector on the front and specifications on the back. Inside the box I found a projector itself, remote control, HDMI cable, AV cable, power cable and user manual. So going back to the size of projector, it is 230 by 180 by 90 mm, the weight is 12 30 grams. This is a compact and lightweight projector, but it is not portable because it doesn't have a built-in battery. You know the body of Hitchin projector is made of black color, but there is a nice texture on the front and back. There is also a textured rhombus at the top, but it has no function other than decoration. We can see a 15 degrees keystone correction handle and control buttons at the top panel. By the way, a focus wheel is located around the lens, so Hitchin projector has a manual keystone correction and focus adjustments. There is also a IO receiver for remote control on the front. The second IO receiver is on the back panel, next to the power supply and speaker. On the side we can see 3.5mm audio jack, AV port, HDMI port, USB port and VGA port. The windows for blowing air is a little lower. The air intake comes from the other side. It looks like there is a removable filter, but I cannot take it off. At the bottom there is a 4 rubber feet, kickstand and tripod mount. A projector doesn't have a ceiling mount, so you should pay attention to this if you were planning to install it on the ceiling. Overall, the projector looks simple, but it is made with quality. The compact size and lightweight allows you to carry the projector from one room to another and even take it to the office or college. The remote control is also simple because it doesn't have any extra buttons. It is powered by two 3A batteries. Using a remote control, you can power on off a projector, select a source input, go to the settings menu, home, return, volume up and down and mute. Ok, let's take a look at the settings menu of a Hitchin projector. On the main screen you can go to the media, source, settings, mirrorcast and airplay. There is movie, music and photo in the media menu. And then we can select an input source for projector from AV, HDMI, VGA and media. We will talk about mirrorcast and airplay a little later, but now let's go to the settings menu. Here we have a Bluetooth menu, where we can turn on off Bluetooth and connect the projector to the other device, for example, external speaker. There is a Wi-Fi menu for wireless smartphone connection. Later I will show you how to mirror a smartphone screen to projector. The picture settings include picture mode, color temperature and a noise reduction. In the next menu we can choose a sound mode and turn on off auto volume. You can also change the language of projector in the settings, as well as restore factory default, choose projection mode and update software. The last menu is a customer service. Ok, I have said many times before about Wi-Fi support in this projector. Let's finally see how it works. First you need to go to the settings menu on projector, select network settings, press on scan button and connect to the same Wi-Fi network as your smartphone. Now go back to the main screen and enter AirPlay if you have iPhone and Miracast if you have Android device. Now you just need to take your phone, go to the screen mirroring and select a projector. That's all. By the way, Hitchin projector supports only 2.4G Wi-Fi, not 5G. However, the latency is quite low. It is comfortable to watch videos. Press the left earbud three times. A gaming mode is activated with a triple press on the right earbud. Another feature of this projector is Bluetooth 5.0 support. However, this is not bidirectional Bluetooth. It means that you cannot use a projector in a speaker mode. When I tried to connect a projector to smartphone via Bluetooth, I didn't find it in Bluetooth menu on my phone. You can only connect other devices to projector, such as external speakers or headphones. For that you need to go to the settings menu, enable Bluetooth and then select your headphones. This is a useful feature if you want to watch a movie alone or if you don't like the sound quality of the built-in speaker. Hitchin projector has a 3 watt speaker. It is very loud, but the sound quality is just a key. You know, that makes sense given the compact size of a projector.
The good news is that Hishin projector is not very loud. The noise level near projector is 37 dB. And it is about 32 dB at 1 meter. Finally, we can talk about projection quality. I have placed a projector at a distance of about 3 meters from the wall, and the screen size is about 80 inches. I want to recall you that the maximum screen size of this projector is 200 inches at 6 meters of the wall, and the minimum screen size is 30 inches at 1.5 meters. The native resolution is Full HD 1080p. Overall, the image is clear, but I noticed a slight blur in the lower left corner. Anyway, you can read the text on this projection without any problems. On this picture, we can see the faces of football fans. The quality is really good. The contrast ratio of Hitchin projector is 9000 to 1. I think the colors are okay for a budget projector. In a pedal mode, you need to pedal like regular mode in flight. In a pedal assist mode, you can choose an assist level. I wanted to do a bit more of a dive. Believe it or not, there are pros and cons to this decision. Of course, I'm talking to Asus for not ramming the ROG Phone 60 absolutely full of crapware as well. You've got a couple of bits on here that I could do without such as... Chris here looking at a very different style of e-bike and a very fun one at that. By the way, I want to show you how a picture mode affects a picture quality. You can press the settings button on the remote control to quickly change the picture mode while watching video. To be honest, it seems to me that the changes are not significant. You can use a standard picture mode to watch movies, sports, games, etc. Area. You love the way Dennis Schroeder started the game getting into the... Well, he's having arguably his best game. The brightness of Hitchin projector is 9000 lumens. I have a very bright lamp in the center of the room, but even when it is on, the projection can be seen quite well. Here's a freeze control. It is triggered when you hold the sample throttle for 8 seconds, and it is released by braking, pedaling or throttling. So, in conclusion, I want to talk about the pros and cons of Hitchin projector. The advantages of this projector are good picture quality, thanks to Full HD native resolution and high brightness, a compact size and a quality assembly, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support, multiple connectivity such as HDMI, USB, AV and VGA ports. Among the disadvantages are the lack of ceiling mounts at the bottom of projector and the rather weak speaker. Given the compact size of projector and its affordable price, I cannot complain about built-in speaker. In addition, you can connect the external speaker or a soundbar to projector via Bluetooth. If you like this projector, I will leave a link to Amazon in description. Thank you for watching. See you soon.